Dear friends and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, let me start by thanking the organizers for setting up this important and wonderful conference and bringing it to life in these unusual circumstances with a wide audience and excellent participants. I very gladly accept the invitation to this panel on funders research assessment criteria and I am happy to contribute with a message from the German Research Foundation, the DFG. The very founding of the DFG was and is dedicated to foster scientific curiosity and ensure that the funding solely relies on the scientific argument. While the DFG offers a broad portfolio, both for individual projects and coordinated programs, including the excellence strategy, the basic criteria for the assessment of proposals are the same across the board. It is the scientific quality of any proposal, its originality and its prospective scientific impact. This principle directly links to the DFG's mission to support the best possible framework condition for the benefit of the best research. In their asking for funding, the applicants are free to describe whatever they deem to be necessary for their endeavors. Now, I would like to go a little beyond the description of a mere overview of the funding programs and introduce you to a system that embeds the kind of research assessment conducted by the DFG. It is an obvious challenge to follow and maintain the funding principles of the DFG in an expanded and complex world of science, with increasing political impact expectations assigned to quantitative indicators and intricate rating mechanisms, leading to growing pressures for both applicants and funders' decision-making. The answer is, by taking responsible care for research in all its broadness and diversity and by taking care of the quality assurance that an honest research culture calls for. In turn, it means that the DFG continuously works towards sharpening the criterion of scientific quality within its research assessment procedures and processes. Functionally, the overall setup of the DFG as a self-governing institution for research and science matches the goal of science-driven decisions. The process from review to funding comprises three independent steps. The careful selection of reviewers tailored to each proposal, asking them to comment on the quality of the project objectives and work program, the applicant's qualifications and the work and research environment. Second, the rating of the reviews by 49 review boards, which are elected by the scientific communities. Quite a unique feature globally. And lastly, the funding decisions by the executive committee which comprises the scientific senate and the federal and states governments, overseeing both positive and negative recommendations, are made in a competitive process in favor of the best scientific projects across the entire range of all research areas. In each of these steps, the responsible members of the respective committees present a thorough argumentation on scientific grounds. As to criteria referring to publications, numbers placed in relevant journals, DFG treats them specifically in the sense that DFG has an explicit rule of quality over quantity. Moreover, DFG also has a clear and liberal policy to accept all different kinds of output formats in order to reduce predominant judgments while assuring the quality of diverse publication channels in the assessment. Of course, 
This is a highly discursive and sometimes long procedure and I anticipate questions regarding cost effectiveness. Indeed, DFG invests much effort into what may truly be stated to be its core, a responsible research assessment. Research assessment can happen in different ways. The current debate on this topic ranges from quite sophisticated models of peer review to algorithmic replacements. DFG has always focused its research assessments to the scientific contents of its proposals. Metrical surrogates have been clearly limited to complementary use at best. The DFG clearly relies on the strength of peer review for assessing its proposals and is motivated by ensuring high quality standards fit to the aims of any proposal, including the impeccable and personal yet unbiased knowledge management by a dedicated academic staff. Moreover, we invest time into a dynamic process of reflection on different approaches and tensions within the science system regarding research assessment. And we engage in active debates on the question of rating research proposals both ex ante and ex post. Due to the DFG's multi-layered scientific representation and its membership research universities, and the immediate political dialogue, this process has a solid interdisciplinary response. Speaking of the ex post assessment of DFG funded projects, it acknowledges possible failures of funded projects in a differentiated manner. Scientific failures and considering them are essential for scientific progress and they should not be taken as a bias criterion for further awards. One important debate on these grounds led by DFG's commitment for a global research culture from a holistic perspective resulted in the publication of the DFG Code of Conduct. The DFG Code of Conduct is not a list of demands that can simply be ticked off. It is an explanatory tour de raison guiding the members of the scientific system, the institutions that embed them, as well as the public to responsible research and the responsibility of those who are in charge of assessment and funding. The principles of good scientific practice include the entire range of responsibilities from professional ethics and integrity to the responsibilities for academic leadership, scientific careers and their environments for the future. By presenting this reasoning to you, I hope that I could convey the essence of the DFG's framework that applies to every step of research assessment in each module of our portfolio. Finally, and following from this, research assessment at DFG fundamentally respects the factor that drives doing, assessing and rewarding outstanding research. And this is humanity. Thank you very much.